Morning everybody, it's David with davidspassage.com. If you're new to hammock camping, today I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that's gonna save you some money, save you some time, and uh, give you a pretty cool piece of gear. Stick around. And I found kind of this cool place by the stream where I wanna set up and chill out just for a little bit. Thought I'd show you what I've done for my hammock suspension. Real simple, nothing really fancy, works amazingly well. What I've done is I've purchased this stuff. This is actually an 800 pound, one inch nylon webbing material. There's a link below uh, in the description where I got mine, the exact same ones that I've got. You don't have to use this exact set, but these ones work really well. This spool comes in a 30 foot roll and you're actually gonna save some weight because these are lighter than some of those other suspension systems that are out there on the market. The first thing I'm gonna do is sort of un unwrap it, match the two ends up like this. Just bring it along and find the middle. There's some ducks that just flew by back there. Once I find that middle, I'm just gonna take my knife and cut it in half. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my lighter and I wanna singe off uh, the ends here so they don't fray on me. Just melt them a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Do this just like you would paracord, made out of the same type of stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those ends and I wanna make a, a loop, a looping knot with it. So to do that, you just kind of fold that over. There's two ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you the easy way and then I'm gonna show you a way that's a little bit harder but a little bit more versatile. So I'm gonna bring that around and then bring that loop through here like that. Now that's, that's sort of the easy way. Now if you do it this way, one thing you have to know is that this is more of a permanent knot. Once you do it like this, it's much harder to get undone. I'm gonna do it a different way. That's just an overhand loop knot. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you a different way. It's a, I think it's a little bit more versatile. This is a figure eight with a loop knot. If you wanna do it with a little bit more versatility, do it like this. Give yourself a little bit more length. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, that bend on top, bring that down like this. You're gonna bring it around. And then you're gonna take, this is the top of your loop, you're gonna take this part and you're gonna feed it through that loop that you just made. Okay, that's called a figure eight with a loop. That knot is a lot easier to get undone should you wanna use this for something else later. Now you wanna do one of these types of loops on each strap. So once again, just taking my strap, giving me, oh, that's about, that's about 10 inches of webbing there. Bringing that down and then around and then through that loop there. Hold the, the little tabby in there and pull. And that's my other one. Now that's done. You've just made your hammock suspension. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how to hang it. All right, so here's the tree that I wanna hang it from. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, this loop or this, uh, you're gonna take the strap, bring it around the tree like that. You're gonna take your long end and just feed it through like that. I know there are other ways to do it, and I know I already made a video similar to this, but just uh, it's been a few years, so a little bit better quality video this time, I guess. And then that side is done. You wanna do the same thing to your other tree. Okay, now we're gonna do what's called, a, I've got my you know double nest and my, uh, my carabiner here. We're gonna do what's called a marlin spike hitch in order to attach the carabiner to the tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my long end, I'm gonna come over the strap like that. I'm gonna bring this new loop up like this. I'm going kind of slow. And then with this part that's connected to the tree, I'm gonna bring that through in a sense, the, the little loop that I just created and take my carabiner put it around that and then holding that in place I'm gonna pull my other end tight okay so once again taking my long end here coming over bringing that loop up getting this uh, tree end here pulling that through 
clipping the, the carabiner and then pulling the long end. Okay, this goes up real quick once you get used to it. So, just like that. Finally, what I'm going to do, um, you could do it like this. This, is, this works fine. I like to put an extra stopper, just sort of a slippery knot in here. So I take my longer end, bring it over, and then bring a little piece through, and then cinch that down. Just to keep it a little, you know, just to give it a little bit of a stopping mechanism as it doesn't stretch or come loose if you have particularly slippery nylon webbing. And then when you're all done, all you do is you take this, pull that, okay, break the camel's back so they speak and pull your beaner out. And then that is a slip knot. It just comes undone like that. As you can see, not a lot of time involved there. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. As you can see, there's quite a bit of tag end left on that uh, strap there. And in all honesty, that's a pretty, it's abnormally long tree distance for me. Actually, that's probably the max that I would normally hang a hammock. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off quite a bit of that to save weight. I just don't need that much. Now who wouldn't want to take a nap next to that sound back there? Boy, it is gorgeous out. Listen to the birds, listen to that stream. This might have to become a camping spot at some point. And just one more uh, little quick tip before I sign off here. When you're done, just take it, uh, put the loop around your thumb bring the other end around your pinky and then come up and start to form a figure eight okay and what's nice about that is that is 100 percent tangle free so taking the other again i'm just going to do it again same thing just put it on my this is for the other side take it on there and just make a figure eight around my hand and then those are ready to deploy when you're ready for next time Grab it from the middle. Just fold it over. One thing I like about this though, you, you know, using these, especially when you trim off the excess, is well even this size fits right into my ENO bag. So you've got your hammock and your suspension right in your hammock bag. And then you're ready to go. All right, so let's make save some money. If you're just getting into hammock camping, uh, it's a pretty cheap solution to, to some really effective hammock straps. Those are super lightweight too, lighter than most of the introductory hammock straps on the market. There are some lighter ones. You get into whoopee slings and am steel and stuff like that. Um, you can get into some lighter setups, but then you're 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 uh, spending a lot more too. But Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate you tagging along. If you know a hammock camper, I'd appreciate it if you share this video with them. And a comment below if you have, you know, if you've used this type of setup before, or if you know a better way to do it. I'm, you know, I'm always learning. I love learning from you guys. Love just kind of, you know, chit-chatting with you guys and learning what you guys like to do outside. So definitely thumbs up this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video, or we'll see you outdoors. Take care.